So in this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can run the new YOLO level model in the Ultralytics hub. So we're both going to see how we can run inference, test out the different pre-trained models, but also how you can train your own custom YOLO v11 model. This is the new member in the YOLO family. We already have a video covering the basics, how we can run it, what are the differences, and also where we go over the benchmarks. So let's just jump straight into the Ultralytics hub. We can see we're now at the homepage. We also have other videos covering each individual thing in here, how you can tune the high parameters, set up training pipelines, and also how we can run inference. So right now we have our data sets, we have our projects and also the models. If you just go in and take a look at it, we can see we have all the versions, all the variations of the YOLO 11 model. We see the mean average position, so these are pre-trained models trained on the Coco data set. So if you just go inside one of them, we can see all the different metrics, the mean error positions, the precision recall, so these are the benchmark results. We can go inside the configurations, the charts as well, preview, and also deploy. So we're going to test the model, but also deploy it, depending on if you want to export it or run it here with the Autolytics Shared Inference API. But you can also go down and export it into all of these different formats. This is basically just a single export command that is going to run on the model, but then you can run it locally on your own computer or host it on your own cloud and so on. So this is very easy to use. If you just go inside the preview tab before we're going into the data sets and see how we can train a YOLO 11 model, we can just take a look. First of all, you can just drop in your own images here directly from your own computer, or we have these two examples. We can specify the image size. You can also just connect to the camera directly. That might act like be pretty cool to do. So let's go in and allow it. Then we're going to take a picture. So it's just going to open up my MacBook camera. We take a picture. There we go. We can see we get these predictions. So it acts like things that this is a hairdryer, even though it's a microphone, but this is also only the nano model. We have a chair and also a person. So even the chair here does a pretty good job, 63% confident that this is acting like a chair. So that's pretty awesome results. We can always go and tune the thresholds here. So right now we might set the confidence score up above 0.50, and then we like to like reduce these predictions. So this is pretty cool. You can go and play around with it. You can also go and use the example images. So we'll just take this one here. So we also get the boxes and we have our label. So we're detecting four persons and a bus in this image in the section of union threshold. All of that can be tuned in here. But once you have trained your own custom models, it is really easy to use and also just test out a bunch of examples to see if you need to retrain your model or you're good to go. You can go and export it and use it in your own projects and applications. So let's just go and find the data set here that we can train our update detection model on. We can just do this brain tumor. So that is a pretty awesome one. Just go inside that. We can train the model. Again, you can use the Autolytics hub with the new YOLO level model, both for update detection, instant segmentation, post estimation, RNA bounding boxes, and also classification. So all these tasks are supported with the new YOLO 11 model as well. So now we have our data set. You just need to annotate it with a platform have the Ultralytics format once you upload your data set. We have videos covering the whole format structure, how you can use labeling tools to actually like upload your data set into the Ultralytics hub. So definitely check those videos out as well. Once we have our data set, we can see we have our labels. We can just hit train model. There we go. Now we have all the YOLO, all the Ultralytics models available in here. So 11, V8, and also V5. We can choose the different variations of it. Right now, let's just go with the small model. We're good to go. We can set up the different model configurations. For the epoch here, let's just go with 30 epochs to start with. You can always just use the default values and you will pretty much be good to go. We specify the device that we want to run, but now we just hit continue. So this is everything that we need to do. You can either use the Ultralytics Cloud, Google Colab, or bring your own agent if you want to train it locally. So let's just copy paste this code snippet open up a Google Colab notebook. We can use the free GPU resources in there as well, but we can also train it with the Ultralytics Cloud. We have tons of videos covering that. So it'll basically just do everything for you. You can lock the metrics, all the results, and so on in there as well. Here we just need to run these blocks of code. It's going to connect to the GPU automatically. And then we just, once we're connected to the runtime, we can just run these code snippets and we just need to paste in our code snippet. So we have our login to the hub and then also the Yoda model that we want to train together with our data set. So this is pretty much everything that we need to do. We just need to run these two blocks of code. We can then go back into our Autolytics hub and just wait for a connection. Once it's connected, it's going to start the training and you will see all the results in here the exact same way as if you're using the Autolytics cloud. So again, we have videos covering pretty much all of it. This is just, just a new YOLO 11 model. So if you're looking for more detail and so on, definitely check those out. We can now see that we're connected. We can hit done. 
Good to go. Training in progress. Once it starts the training, we'll be able to see the metrics, epoch per epoch, mean air position, precision recall, all of that will be in here together with the losses. Once it's done training, we can go inside our preview to test out the model, but also just to go ahead and deploy it, either with the dedicated inference API or also export the model so you can use it in your own applications and projects. So let's now go back to train here. And if we go back into the Google Colab notebook, we can see that it's starting the training. So it just started at epoch one. All the results will be stored here, but you can also see them on the Autolytics hub. So once it's done with the first epoch, we should be able to go back here and see the results in real time. So let's just go back. So these are just the images. So these are the batches that it's passing through the model to train it. We have epoch one, should, it's running the validation now. And we get the first results and we should be able to go in and see it in the Autolytics hub. So now we can see we've got the first values if we go down and take a look at the metrics. And then for the second epoch, it's just going to draw this graph over time for 30 epochs. So this is how easy it is to use the new YOLO 11 model with the Ultralytics hub. We both went over preview, how you can run inference with it, export the model, the pre-trained version, and also how you can train it on your own custom data set. So I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Go in and train a custom YOLO 11 model in just a few minutes. And then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy training.